Hello and welcome to the channel. And for today's video, we are checking out this custom on the Marvel Legends Spider Man No Way Home Friendly Neighborhood Spider Man? Question mark. I believe that's what they refer to as the. Uh, the Tobey Maguire, Sam Raimi, Spider-Man, the friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. So we have him and the, um, obviously the MCU Spider-Man, the Tom Holland, and then the Andrew Garfield, the amazing Spider-Man, right? So, um, so anyway, um, a couple of weeks ago, I went to a, a flea market here in TJ where it's all just toys, toys, toys. Um, it's about, uh, you know, it's a, it's a, uh, there's a lot of, it's, I want to say like uh, around a hundred, um, you know, sellers that have, uh, you know, spots there. Uh, so anyway, I picked up this guy. I picked up the Andrew Garfield. So I'm only missing the, uh, the Tom Holland from uh, the uh, from that wave, as far as just the Spider-Man figures, and um, as far as the customization on this figure, um, uh, I did do some customizing as far as posability, and um, and also cosmetically. So, first thing. I did was repaint all of the webs and we'll take a closer look at those in just a second um, but uh, one of the things that um, looking back after repainting the webs is that I probably should have removed the factory paint from the figure before applying my own um, only because the factory paint um, some in some spots is off off of the uh, off of the, um, the the molding of the of the webs of the costume so in certain areas uh, the web line will look thicker because the the factory paint which was silver um, when you look at it uh, from certain spots, the web line will look thicker. Uh, so I repainted all of the web lines, uh, obviously by hand, uh, using Tamiya uh, gunmetal. So um, it's a um, it's the um, it's a closer to what the real costume looks like in terms of the the, the color. Um, for the web lines the costume itself the color the blue i believe the blues and the reds are off also they're not like 100 percent. so but i i wasn't i, I didn't it, it doesn't bother me bother me um the color of the uh the, the roots and the the roots the blues and the reds of the costume um but more so it was just the uh, the web lines um so again the I repainted all of those in uh, gun metal, and also one of the things that I did cosmetically for the costume was the mask. So let's get a closer look at that mask, and let's see if you can tell what exactly it is that I did. If you're familiar with the Tobey Maguire costume. You'll point. You'll look. You'll 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 point it out. You know. You can tell what's what's different. But uh, let me just move that off to the side because I'll then post an image here on on this side, so you can tell. Um, so what I did is I added that web line that goes from the center of the forehead down to the uh, the bridge of the nose. This line. I added it, uh, and you can see that it's just not, it's not only painted on, but it's, you're right, it's just not painted on. 
Uh, that's a piece of thread. So that's just black thread that I glued on and then I painted on top. Because it always bothered me that the Tobey Maguire mask, even though it was symmetrical, top to bottom, uh, usually, why am I always pointing it that way? Uh, usually the, um, so the Tobey Maguire mask has the opening here, like a triangle at the bottom, and then also the opening at the top. So it looks, why am I looking off? Uh, so it looks uh, symmetrical, but traditionally the spider-man mask has that web line that goes from the bridge of the nose all the way up the forehead and into the back the the um the toby Maguire mask had that molding uh on the back right this center line uh web line it, it did have it but it stopped right here at the top of the forehead or it was either here at this point I believe it's right here so that's where i added the um why do i keep pointing that way uh, i'm looking at the figure i'm looking at the figure th off the camera not through the camera that's why i keep angling it this way sorry it's a new camera also i'm trying uh, i just got a new camera a new phone so i will record i record all my videos off of my camera phones uh so um if something looks different or sounds off let me know from previous videos so anyway, uh, this is the, I added the thread from this point forward, All right? Because it always bothered me that the, the Toby Maguire mask didn't have that line going uh, off the top, and to me it just looks more like uh, the classic Spider-Man that I grew up with. Uh, Spider-Man is my favorite Marvel character, second favorite overall behind Batman. So, um, so anyway, that's something that I, I wanted to correct, right? You could say, even though it's not, again, not movie accurate, but to me, it's character accurate. And that to me is more important. And now let's look at the, um, at those, uh, web lines. So yeah, all of those, it was a pain in the butt having to repaint all of these by hand. But um, I think it was worth it. Um, I didn't do all of it in one sitting. I think I spent one hour a day for like a week. I think I painted like the front of the chest one day, the back of the chest the other. Uh, part of the arms one day, part of the other, you know, I went in sections just so it wouldn't drive me crazy. Um, I was using magnifying glasses um, just to get in there really close with the, uh, with the small tip brush and get those lines on that molding, on the web, on the web line moldings. So like I say, in certain spots, the factory paint will make it look like the web lines are thicker because the factory paint is off of the uh, of the mold. So that's why I say I should have repainted. I should have removed the factory paint before starting the repaint. For one second, the day, a couple of days later, I was like, "Damn, you know, I should have." And I was, con I contemplated. You know, removing all of the paint and starting over, but like, nah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna bother. Um, well, yeah, uh, from a distance you can't really tell, but up close, you can see in certain spots. You know, so the um, so like I said, I used gun metal because the um, that's closer to what the actual costume the is looks like you know um it's not a flat black and it's not a silver so gun metal is like the um the happy medium now in terms of customization uh, other than that added uh middle web line i think made a cut there at the back of the head for 
head articulation so now he can look upwards all the way whereas before it, 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 he, he could only look up like this much so it looked weird when he was web you know if you're trying to pose him for when uh you know web slinging action and all of that if he can't look all the way up kind of the you know the kind of the pose he can't you the pose you can't really uh um you can't really um pass off the pose as you know accurate you know so i did that for the uh, butterflies i removed the arm and the uh the mushroom socket um the mushroom socket i um the 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 part the part that goes into the uh the butterfly um of the uh, on the figure i just removed the tip so you see there's the, there's the mushroom part that plugs in past the hole and there's an extra the extra there's an extra piece of plastic that that goes past the i'm sorry so there's a there's an extra part of plastic like a tip that goes beyond the 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 plug so that extra tip of plastic um, kind of hindered the ability of the butterfly to go all the way front and all the way back. So if you just cut off that tip at the edge of the head of the mushroom, of the mushroom tip, you'll be able to get full access to the, uh, the butterfly. Although on my figure, you will notice how freely the butterfly moves on this arm. But on this one, it's a tighter because the figure, if you'll notice the gap right here uh, at the shoulder on this one, notice that there's a wider gap than on this one. I believe the because of the figure was sitting, you know, the seller had the figure and, you know, out in the sun every day for God knows how many weeks uh, that he was trying to sell off the figure that I'm pretty sure the... Um, I think maybe too much exposure exposure to the sun and heat kind of warped. I don't know how he would store the figures if he would pile on figures on top of it after the day was done. So I don't know if the plastic got soft over time and with uh, other figures on top, it kind of compressed this side of the chest. I tried applying heat to see if that rectifies it, but it wouldn't. So this is different type of plastic it's a harder plastic so no it, it, it wouldn't work but uh there's i mean there's rubbing but it hasn't rubbed off the paint that's the good thing about the tamiya uh, paints even though they say they're acrylics they're solvent based so it adheres better to plastic so so far it has uh the, the paint hasn't rubbed off you know even though I keep going back and forth. Um, other than that, I don't believe I modified the butterfly. Uh, I'm trying to remember. It's, it's been a while since I since I modified this figure. I don't know if I modified the the app crunch or not. What I do know I did modify is here on the hip. I did, um, you can see I dremeled out here at the top and at the bottom. Uh, no, at the bottom? No, not at the bottom, just here at the top. Uh, I did uh, dremel out uh, a bit of a gap so that the, uh, the stem, uh, you know, you have the ball and then the stem. So when you, uh, you know, pose the leg upwards, the stem will have a... a, a a longer uh, range so now you can fully have well not fully but almost have the full split whereas before you could only have like th this much opening in the EA stance but now he can almost get you the full split so yeah that's that's pretty much it oh i also did um it's very minor but uh, i did repaint the lenses with uh, a leftover paint that i had from another cost 
uh, custom uh, where I had some pearlescent white you can't really tell but the, the lenses aren't completely white they have like a pearlescent white color to them Also, I, I only have the fist and the uh, the one uh, web, uh, what do you call it, web uh, shooting hand. Right, that's all I got from when I got the, picked up the figure at the, um, at the flea market. And that's it. Uh, that's pretty much all I got for this figure. Um, so yeah, like I said, if you're going to do the whole repainting of the webs, I do suggest you remove the factory paint first and then apply your color instead of applying your, I'm sorry, paint, <laughs> apply your paint over the factory paint. Uh, I do not recommend that. Um, it'll look better, trust me. Maybe in the future, one day when I'm bored, I'll remove the, the paint job and um, I'll start over. Uh, just because I know it's going to bother me someday to the point where I'm going to have to do it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, um, for now, uh, I'm just going to let it go for a little bit and then ex maybe explore it in the future. But for now, that's it. Thank you for watching. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think. And I'll be seeing you in the next one.